P. Sangeetha, Assistant Professor, Department of Chemistry, KSR College of Arts and Science for Women, Tiruchungur. So here I am going to see the topic carbohydrate. This topic is given in the very first unit of organic syllabus. Uh, addition to that, the definition, classification of carbohydrate, structure and properties of glucose fructose, interconversion of glucose to fructose and fructose to glucose, and some basic terms as like muta rotations, anomer, epimer, those are given in the first chapter of the first unit. In the second chapter, uh, some uh, disaccharides are given like uh, sucrose and maltose. In the third chapter, polysaccharides like uh, starch and uh, cellulose are given. So in this video, let's see some basic concept regarding carbohydrate. Carbohydrate. And the carbohydrate is subdivided into three groups. As. What are they means? Sugar, starch and cellulose. Sugar means it gives a sweet taste to uh, food. Uh, all kind of monosaccharides like glucose, fructose are having a sweet taste. Some of disaccharides like sucrose is also having a sweet taste. Starch and cellulose are polysaccharides. Okay. Why we need a carbohydrate? The carbohydrate is a source for energy for human being and animals and also the plant. So daily you have to take a carbohydrate because it is a fuel for brain, kidney, heart muscles and central nervous system. Next, uh, in a total calories of food, 45 to 65 percent of carbohydrate daily you must take. That is 900 to 1300 calories of carbohydrate daily you have to take. That is equal to 225 to 325 grams of carbohydrate daily you have to take. So this give a energy to your body. Next, what is the definition for carbohydrate? The carbohydrates are defined as the hydrates of carbon. That means the carbohydrate is fully composed by the elements carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. That's why the formula for carbohydrates becomes CMH2O n times. Here M and M are no need to save value. It may be varied. So this is a one kind of definition. The other kind of definition for carbohydrate is polyhydroxy, polyfunctional organic compound. Polyfunctional means it has two or more functional groups. Carbohydrate may be uh, aldehyde, ketone, primary and secondary alcoholic groups are present. In case if the aldehyde group is a main functional means that carbohydrate is a termed as the aldose. If it is has the keto is a functional group means that is called ketose. In specific according to the number of carbon atom present in the carbohydrate we specifically termed as the aldotriose, aldotetrose, aldopentose, aldohexose like that similarly for ketose. Yeah, for example, for aldotriosis, glycerol decade, the aldehyde is a functional group, but it contains three carbon atoms. Aldohexose example is glucose, aldehyde is a functional group, but uh, number of carbon is six. Like that way, you have to classify it. Next, classification. The classification is based on the number of sugar unit exist in the carbohydrate. So, for example, monosaccharide. Monosaccharide means single sugar unit is present. The example for monosaccharide is glucose and fructose. Disaccharide means it contains two sugar units. Example is sucrose, maltose and lactose. In sucrose, one sugar unit is glucose and another one is the fructose. In maltose, two units are same glucose unit. Next, the trisaccharide. Trisaccharide means it has three sugar units. The example for trisaccharide is raffinose. Oligosaccharide means it contains up to uh, 30 to, uh, so 10 to 13 sugar units are there means that is said to be an oligosaccharide. Polysaccharide means greater than 13 sugar units are present means that is called polysaccharide. In polysaccharide you have a further classification that is a homopolysaccharide and the heteropolysaccharide. Homopolysaccharide means the same kind of sugar units are exist means that is homopolysaccharide. Example of that is starch and the cellulose. Heteropolysaccharide means that two different kind of sugar units are existing mean that is said to be a heteropolysaccharide. Example is peptidoglycose and agarose. So these are some example and uh, uh, example formula for carbohydrate. The glyceride I already mentioned to you that is aldotriose and ketotriose. The example is dihydroxyacetone, the D-glucose that is uh, aldohexose, and the D-fructose is the example for ketohexose. And uh, um, aldopentose example is D ribose and the 2 deoxy ribose that is uh, another example for aldopentose. Okay. Where the starch is found? 
the all kind of foods are having a considerable amount of carbohydrate like uh, chicken uh, potatoes noodles bread in all rice all kind of foods are having a carbohydrate so you uh, eat all kind of food for having a carbohydrate thank you